Okay, so we tried these two. Let's try this one. Nope. This one. Nope. Okay, try number three. Nope. Hello my lovely ladies, I'm Pitch Dark and welcome to Outward. We are in beautiful Serzo and the beautiful Jen is very revered and uh, everybody here loves her now. At least they better for everything she's done to save their sorry little butts. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what I did off camera is we slapped, we we got our stats up good. Some of our magic's a little low but that's because I, I lit a fire. Um, did a bunch of cooking, a bunch of... Um, selling did a lot of uh, a little bit of crafting here and there so uh these are the weapons i've decided to take with me uh i'm gonna keep the mallet or the this club um gonna keep the shield in case we ever need it the claymore i i freaking love that thing so we're gonna keep that uh bring some extra arrows with us we're gonna use the gladius and the the flintlock uh and obviously our bow and everything so uh, I made some more traps and um, got quite a bit of silver now. Now that I, I we sold some things, I decided to sell some of the the uh, the armor and some of the older weapons we've had um, to get this because I, I do want to buy a house in um, in Berg. So uh, so we have our tra travel rations. Um, I did keep some stuff. So if we look in here, I did keep. The, um, obviously that. I kept the, the other shield. Um, because this one looks really cool. And I noticed on this one when it says, um, it inflicts bleeding on a shield charge, which is a, a, a skill we could obtain. Maybe we will. I don't know. But you never know. And I kept the awesome mallet. I kept this awesome cleaver, uh, halberd and, and everything. And I kept, you know, some of the armors and everything. Just in case we ever need them down the line. Um. You know, we're not hard up on, on money or resources right now, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to, to use those or to sell those or break them down or anything. So what I've decided is we're going to head back to, to see Mummy Riza, but I think what I want to do is I do want to hit that fortress again. I just want to go up to where um, that last warlord was. Uh, we'll fight those other guys that are up there. Um, cause I wanna see, we didn't search up there, so there could be something good up there. We just don't know. And I wanted to have another try at those rings as well. Uh, if we go down into the, the Turg thing, maybe we'll be better able to handle that. Uh, we can search that cave. And then um, maybe thinking maybe stopping and seeing if we can fight that pirate, skeleton pirate guy again um, before we head into uh, the America Forest. So I'm going to head there and have a drink. And then when we're back... Um, near the fortress, I'll cut back. Okay, so I'm running along here, and um, the fortress is right over the hill there. But I wanted to see where that cave was in relation to the fortress. So, down here, I don't want to run all the way down there, but that's where that cave entrance is. And the fortress is here. So, so that's how it connects, which is interesting. Um, so, that must be a pretty good-sized cave, I'm, I'm guessing. So... Um, yeah, I was just, I was just curious when, when you come into an area like that to see, you know, try to figure out wh where they relate to each other. Um, you know, so you kind of get an idea of, you know, scope and, I don't know, scale and, I don't know, just, it, it just, I just appreciate when developers, you know, put things like that in and, you know, make it so it's kind of realistic like the cave's not like way over there or something <laughs> yeah it's like okay how did i get from here to over there so uh yeah anyways we are here and um oh you know what i should do is let's take this put the right correct sword on there so we know and make sure our gun's ready all right let's put that away Again, hopefully, we're not going to have any resistance going in. Um, 
that Warlock's guards, the archers, are probably not going to be happy to see me uh, again. So I'm going to put traps near the bottom of the stairs, I think, because the guard that's there is, is probably going to come up if he hears a commotion and, and attack me. So, yeah. Or, you know, in case I need to run again. So, yeah, yeah ooh. <laughs> they kibby in a little bit, but they're still, they're fine. Too bad we couldn't just free all the prisoners. That would be nice. Again, I think. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Um, oh, it's like an arrow. All right, they don't seem to be near the doorway. And again, don't don't mind me. I'm just uh, testing something out here, pal. I have every right to be here. I am I am not the same person that was here a little while ago. So don't worry about me. Let's get these laid down. It's a little awkward trying to get these in. I think I'll do three. If I can. There we go. Okay. Gives us a little bit of, of leeway here. Um, actually thinking... I'm going to do that. All right. Let's see. Oh, we have more traps up here. How do we have more traps up here? Did he... Oh, he must not have tripped one of... Oh, is this one armed? Oh, did I not... I did not arm it. I didn't arm it. That was stupid of me. Didn't notice that last episode. Might as well, might as well arm it while we can. That's if they even attack. Oops, I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, okay. <laughs> Appears to be no one home. That's interesting. I was actually hoping to find something that would help us solve the ring mystery. As there is a chest up here. Just check all areas first. That there's like a oh, that's weird. There's like an opening in there. Just want to be cautious of for traps. Don't see anything? So for something good here. Ooh, a broad dagger. Ice flame torch. Chemical torch that cools the wielder even in severely, uh, severely, sweltering temperatures. I, I just make up my own words. I don't, I don't know why I bother reading this stuff. I just say, it's a thing that looks like ice and glows. <laughs> Lava egg. Uh, some food. Blessed potion. Okay. Something we don't know. All right. That is pretty cool. All right, so what is this dagger? Flicks bleeding, offhand weapon. Okay, it's probably better than the Brundle one that we have. Um, that's pretty neat. Ice flame torch. I love finding different things. Oh, like arrows. There we go. There we go. <laughs> 
So now this is interesting. See, it would not have... If I did not come back, we'd not have seen this. Oh, look at that. That's one of those ships. With, like, the magic sails. That is so cool. Oh, I wish we could, like, take that. I got a junk pile. Iron spare. Light blue clothes and ice varnish. We don't know that either. Alright, we're, uh, we're pretty overloaded now. Um, I'm probably not going to use the spare. Let's just break that down. Alright, let's see. Can we move? We can move now. Alright, good. Um, don't think we can go anywhere else in here. You know what? Let's do this. Let's just put off light, it does. Uh... Oh, so I can't move because I did that. Because of the shield. But I don't see anything else, anywhere else to go in here. Hopefully you don't get attacked because we're, too, we're in trouble. What I should have done is explore and then came and got my backpack and all that stuff. But, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Alright. Okay, well, now we know what's up here. A um, little disappointed the archers are gone. But that's quite alright. I guess it's probably for the best. I was hoping maybe to get a better bow off one of them or something but because that's when I watched back on the video what the shield we got the um, the one with all the spikes on it that was off of one of the guards when we fought the wizard so I mean very possible the um, archer guards may have had something good too but it's okay I'm sure we'll find other things along the way we're not gonna be like so like uh um, so this is a damage of 25, that's 22, impact of 28, 32, attack speed of 1, attack speed of 1. So this is way better. So that's good. We'll get, we'll keep that one. We'll get, probably get rid of the Brundle, or Rundle. Uh, let's just put all the stuff in our backpack so we're not hurting here. Uh, okay, keep all that up there. We can keep a couple more arrows. There we go. Let's just pick up these, this trap here and the other traps, and then we're done. Um, you know, we'll, we'll try to see if we can figure out the uh, the ring thing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's not. Let me get the trap. Okay. Darn it. There we go. Good day to you, sir. All right. Uh, let's head on back up. And and nope, oh, the other way. Okay. So we tried this one. Right, should we just keep going in a circle? We'll go clockwise. And if we fall through, we can search through the... Yeah. We'll just search through the uh, thing there. We can keep coming back. <laughs> you know, until we, we get it right. Um, you know, it might be easier too once we clear out this cave also to keep doing it. So I'm going to switch back to... You know what? I'm going to try the shield for a little bit. You know, I've always... Every time I play a game, I usually always go sword and shield first. Uh, just a, I just like it better. 
you know, even though I really wanted to do the pirate thing, but yeah, know, sometimes you can't always do what you want to do. I wonder if I should drop a uh, sigil. He hurts. That's for sure. Oop. It was a bad timing on my part, but I got him. Alright, good. Very nice. Uh, bag. Over here. Yeah, no, we'll just pick it up. Why, yeah, why not? Just pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Yeah, same as all the other ones. Not a lot. Pull me, so that was that looked pretty cool. Alright, cool. Alright, let's continue onward. Loot this guy. Okay. Uh we have to catch it down this way. Because I don't think that door's gonna open. Possess potion. Hex cleaner. Salts. Now I'm going to take that and I can break down one of them. See, the other thing I don't like is that. Let me drop this one. Sometimes it doesn't break down the one you want. Uh, yeah, that. Okay, now I'll pick up the good one. Nope, cannot go in there. Okay, we're going to continue on. So, that's... That's it? <laughs> really? That seems like... That's... No, that seems short. Weird, huh? Like, that's really it? That seems like this would be a lot longer, if you ask me. Like, up uh, bigger. Well, alright. Well, I guess. Oh, shit. We'll just, um. I'm gonna keep trying lever little lovers then, and. What I'll do is I'll cut back when I find the right one. Okay, so we tried these two. Let's try this one. Nope. Okay, try number three. Nope. This one. Nope. Should be this one. Seriously, last time when we were standing here, I I went, I looked at this one. I'm like, uh, now we'll go counter, we'll go clockwise. Guess I should have went counterclockwise, but it doesn't matter. It's open, and let's see what's in the ornate chest. <sighs> okay, recurve What do we have? Uh. Golem Elixir, powerful concoction that temporarily increases your weapon's impact. It gives you the possession in discipline boons, okay? And a warm potion. Increases your fire and fire damage and resistances. Fire rags. Beetles. Stone flesh elixir teaches you how okay. That might be something interesting. And thick oil. Okay, nothing amazing, but still, I think it's pretty cool. 
All right, so what we'll do is we'll end this here. Um, I'm going to go camp out and rest and get my health and stamina, everything back up to, you know, 100%. Then I think we're going to go face One-Eye Willie there in the, uh, you know, the, the pirate cave. And then we'll head back to Berg and talk to Mummy Riza and continue on our quest with her and um, see what's going on with the the Blue Chamber Collective. So I do thank you for watching. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would appreciate that. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.